Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that bell for updates on videos and shenanigans by Smarvy Smart. Now enjoy the video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Archie, Archie, Archie. Don't you get it? You know what? We'll get to that in a minute. Since when did this guy have a twin brother? You know, I'm not even going to get on that. Let's go to this guy. I tried to tell you guys that this dude was up to no good. I mean, are you serious? Get that baby out of his hands. That guy is a complete stranger. And Alice, I feel bad for you the most. Because now you're losing your husband over this okie doke dude you call your son. When this guy might not even actually be your son. I mean, I knew this guy was trouble the first time I laid my eyes on him. Guys, they got to get rid of him. You know what? I think this guy might be a bigger threat than the Black Hood. So, my advice to the Coopers, get this guy out of here. Please. If this is not big enough proof... I don't know what to tell you. You know, honestly, I feel really bad for Chughead because it seems like that all he wants to do is save the town. But soon as he gets the intel for it, everyone just wants to shut him down. Even Pop Tate. Giving that little sob story about your mother. Oh, get real. I would have exposed him without even asking. I don't care how old you look. I don't care how innocent you look. Jughead, you're on the right track. But this little thing you got for the innocent, go ahead and cut that out. Who cares about if Pop Tate gets embarrassed in front of his mother, you know? He shouldn't have sold the place to Hiram Lodge in the first place. So... I would have exposed them the first chance I got. You know, exposed first, ask questions later. So guys, it seems like to me, the only one who's to their senses right now is Jughead. He seems to be the only one who is not under the Lodge's spell. It seemed like Archie was going to rebel at first, but then he kind of got scared when Veronica came storming into his room. So now it seems like he's scared of Hiram Lodge now. Then his dad rebels, and then he wants to stay. You know, between him and Veronica, they kind of remind me of Gamby from Black Lightning. You just don't know whose side they're on. You know, it seems like Jughead seems to be the only one. Also, along with the Blossoms, because of something Clifford's brother said there in the end, it seems like they're the only ones who even, who even wants to rebel against the Lodges, who's up to their senses. With that being said, for all my Barchi fans out there, if we're all still alive, hello, I know it's been a while, I think this episode reveal what will be the end of Varchi in the first place. <clears throat> the Lodges. You know, this whole thing they got going on, it's gonna eventually come between Archie and Veronica. It almost did in this episode. So if you Varshi fans really think that your ship is gonna last when this whole business with Hiram Lodge seems to almost break them apart every single episode, I mean, you're probably gonna last very little. You know, it's, it's not gonna last, trust me. But guys, I'm not going to talk a hole in your head. So a pretty good episode of Riverdale. A lot of good things. Not too much with the ships. But I must admit, a lot of great action between the Lodges, Chick, and great things going on with the Blossom. Sorry for my stuttering. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on up out of here. So if you enjoyed this little review, please give it a thumbs up. And for more Riverdale videos, hit that subscribe button. Stay out of trouble, guys.